Good morning, Guten Morgen. That's German for good morning. We are installing some little firefighters. We're gonna spin these meters kind of at an angle here and put them right here. And then we'll put the brackets behind the meters or directly below them. <clears throat> Although, I think the brackets are kind of unnecessary given where this is, the location of this, and the fact that there's no landscaping over here. Nobody really comes back here. Um, you got seven, six units and one water heater. The reason we're doing this is the, uh, the owner had an inspection for, let's see, that window, this window, and I think there's two in the front, and the inspector was like, oh, I don't see that you have the uh, earthquake shutoffs marked off. So basically it's just a it's a requirement for any property to have earthquake shutoff valves apparently and it shows on inspector systems or something like that I don't know but we're here today to install them and you have to have it on each individual um, meter you can't have it on the big main that feeds all the meters so all right Okay, so you get the basic gist of how these are installed. I'll likely put another, I think that's a one inch nipple. I'll spin this just a little bit to line it up with this. Spin it just a little bit, like, I could probably do it by hand, but no. But before I do that, I wanna install brackets again probably don't really need these but just gonna do it right like that I'm gonna have to take the meter off likely and cut this with a bandsaw <clears throat> This, this setup's pretty simple, but sometimes it can get pretty complicated depending on how much room you have to work with. And if you're not 
not familiar with how a little firefighter works. So if you look in there, there's literally a magnet. There's a magnet inside of here that holds this little flap up. And then if it if there's too much movement, it just shut shuts. But it's very it's very sensitive. And to reset it once you have it actually on the meter is this right here. And then it's hard to see, but there's a, right now it's red. If you open it, that little sight glass right there turns to green and you do it with that little, you just get a little tiny flathead. Basically, that's how these work. I've had great success with them, really. Very few callbacks for resetting these. And in some situations, you can't install those brackets. You have to make your own unistrut or whatever. Or sometimes it's just not possible. And they still, they, they don't, they stay open, you know? You have to shake them pretty good so anyway all right i'll install that bracket and i'll show you what it looks like this is the nut and bolt set that comes with the bracket i don't actually ever use these i just use these they're much easier and, and they work just as well so and if you're worried about it, there's three holes right here. So we're just going to do it right like that. Right like that. And then you use the U bracket here to wrench it down. That's it. Pretty simple stuff. That's what holds the thing from any unnecessary movement. Okay. All right. There you go. So we had to reverse. We had it on this side. We had to put it back because the bracket was pulling this perfectly level. And what I didn't see before I took everything apart is this was not level down here. It was kind of, I mean, it's close to level, but it was just, it was, the bracket was pulling it this way and it needs to push it. So we, I had to flip it because we couldn't, the, uh, this was lower than this one right here. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't, but, but that's it right there. Earthquake valve. So now you just, this may be too big. No, it's not. Yeah, it's too big. I just need to open that up and I'll turn their gas back on. And the little trick that I use to, to spin that on there is I put a, a towel on it and then use a pipe wrench and then also use, you know, a, a 
adjustable wrench or a nip hex to get it on there. You're, you're gonna score it a little bit. I mean, there's no getting around that. Uh, but you can prevent having teeth marks on it. You just, it's gonna get scored just a little bit. But that's, uh, that's it. Okay, there's the second one. Uh, I'm waiting on Uncle Los to, we need washers. And I don't have any that will fit in between this right here. So he's going to get washers. <clears throat> but the, uh, this one's lining up perfectly. And don't forget these rubber washers on here, very, very important. You can only, what I've been told is you can only get those from the gas company, so don't lose those. Okay, one for three. Say hello to Benji. Benji, Benji, Benji dude. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. Benji got him, right Benji? Benji got him. So now, Lois is gonna paint it. Paint just the nipples here as best as we can without getting too much paint on there. I got this at Cheryl Wilson. Cheryl Wilson. Cheryl Wilson? Cheryl Wilson, bro. This is good stuff. It's better. It's much better than the. Uh, I've had this for a while, but it's much better than the trash spray paint at the, uh, at the uh, plumbing supply. You might want to shake it up. I haven't. The downside to this job is now I got to relight the water heater, and each unit has a. Uh, wall heater in it so we got to relight all those friggin things too so but that's it once we relight everything we're done <laughs>